Our adventure continues as we attempt to drive the Laguna route through Bolivia in two very old vans. Both vehicles are more than 20 years old. We will also be facing extreme winds and temperatures dropping below zero at night. Will we make it through the 400 kilometers of rough, dusty, corrugated roads? At the end of our last episode, we were just approaching Laguna, Colorado. Corinne's driving skills were put to the test to make sure we did not get stuck in the sand. We've seen our first pink pelicans. Yeah. In the pink section. <laughs> we have been warned that this stretch of gravel road can be very bad, so we had to keep our momentum through the soft sand to prevent us from getting stuck. It's driving, guys. Expert driving, huh? No problems today. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm not talking about the driving thing. <laughs> what, sliding I'm, all over the Yeah, well, yeah, well, none of us got stuck. Yeah, yeah we got through and the, the, the tail was kept in. And yeah, oh, well yeah. done. High five. Yeah. yeah, it would be great to stay here. Yeah, look at the fucking I view. Know. I think it's bad. Slight breeze, but we have the best view ever. Camping right over there, right in the sun, right by the lake. You can see the dust devils everywhere. There's a little restaurant there with a toilet. Every 10 minutes uh, there is no wind, but it has been a brilliant day on the road and a brilliant day on the, la, the, 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 on the Laguna route. But it's getting cold now, so we have to uh, cover up the cars. And it's a very chilled and quiet morning at Laguna, Colorado. I was up before the flamingos and before any of the humans. We are three cars here tonight or today. Extremely peaceful. You can only hear the, the soft buzz of the, an inverter and slowly the day is defrosting. But it's probably one of our top wild camps stopped at least top 100 wild camps in south america so far uh, honey what do you think of the day well now it's windless so it's pretty awesome <laughs> <laughs> to give you an idea of the temperatures our neighbor's car has grown a stalactite from the diesel heater's exhaust on the, sh on the shade side, it is pretty cold. Let's check the, the engine temperature. Because huh? Keiko warm is car. Okay, temperature gauge on our engine block. We can see how cold the car is. Zero. Oh, we are, our engine block is on zero. I don't know if it shows... Minus. minus. <laughs> okay. So we, we, we have added a tad of antifreeze to the engine. Let's see. We had to make sure our engine block does not freeze during the sub-zero night temperatures, as that would be catastrophic in this remote area with very little chance of recovering a vehicle. Lake Colorado gets its distinctive colors from the minerals seeping into the lake from the surrounding soil. In turn, the flamingos get their distinctive color from the algae that grows in the water. This is why each lake on the Laguna route has a distinctive color and the flamingos on each lake has a corresponding distinctive color. We stayed at Laguna, Colorado until the wind picked up and then we headed further south to our next stop, the Thermal Geysers. Landscape have changed radically again. Yeah. Oh. Light, how many? Uh, about 500 meters high. It's chilly. We still have our warm weather gear on. And the only thing that grows here are stones. But we're heading up to the beaches. We're going to see some volcanic 
activity. Or some thermal activity is probably the right term. But it stays an astounding answer. We could be on the moon or on Mars. A giant has just fought it. Very extremely strong sort of No competition for me. No, 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 no competition. Okay, let's move on. There is another quite a good big batch. The wind picked up radically when we arrived at the thermal geysers, so we did not hang around long. It was a strange place with strange smells and weird sights. Hot mud bubbling from deep in the earth and hot steam spewing out through holes in the ground. The weather was extremely challenging and we were looking forward to our next stop and an opportunity to get warm and clean. So we have arrived. Oops, just clean the wheels. There's dust everywhere. Um, so we've arrived at our spot last or second last night and another beautiful wild camp with flamingos ducking their heads right here close to us still very windy and my biltong is looking fantastic it is looking better and better and better some of it is ready and then the others I will cure for another day and hopefully by tomorrow they will be speakeries Karina's made us a lovely lunch. We are hunkering down, hiding away from the wind, appreciating the lovely views. And there is a hot spring right over there that we will dip into a bit later. And hopefully we can defrost a little bit. Karin is delivering a lunch for our partners in crime. We've got Vicuñas grazing far there on the rocks. I don't know what they're eating, but they look slow. There's not a lot. Some lovely birds all around. And the, 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 um, <laughs> the, pel the pelicans are of um, a different color here. Their horses are black. They're less pink than at Laguna, Colorado. But there's loads of them and they are very chilled. So what's the water like, honey? A lot better than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. It is nippy out. It's bloody cold. <laughs> so, so let's get warmer. The difference between your, your head and your body is looking for the hottest spot. Hey, a flamingo. I've been calling the, the flamingos pelicans all the time. It's so nice to get clean. It's our first bath in two years. <laughs> And look how big it is. Yeah. And it's been at the pool. We've been eating dust. Oh my gosh. So it's lovely to get a proper rinse. Yeah. We've only been doing triangle washes with wet wipes and cloths. Oh. Yeah, it's gonna be tough to get out of here. We should have brought our Kindles. Top tip when driving the Laguna route is don't leave your dirty dishes in water outside your car. Because we made that slight error of judgment yesterday and now all our dishes are frozen, solid, <laughs> in the bucket. <laughs> oh, 
So we're saying goodbye to Laguna Chalvri. Chalveri this morning. Our last night, coldest night. And now we're heading off to the Dali Desert. Just over that little obstacle. obstacle. Um, the, the flamingos hasn't come back yet after that cold night. No, there's vacunas. Now the lake has been frozen like our dishes, but it's slowly defrosting. Yeah. Um, so we're heading off to the lower ground, <laughs> chilly. Karin is, is, is I wishing. can't talk and walk. I can't believe it's still like this after fucking months. Yeah. Um, so we're heading to the Dali Desert and then to another two lagunas, Laguna Blanco, Laguna Verde and then we're crossing the border. Yeah. So it's time to say muchas gracias, Bolivia. It was great. And hola Chile later today. Yes. Let's go. The Dali Desert was our second last stop and the wind picked up even more. So it was another quick visit to this real wide open landscape. Strange rock formations scattered on a moonlight landscape and another spectacular multicolored mountain that made our last day in Bolivia special as we started to say goodbye to this wonderful country. We also realized we had to find a wild camp for the night as the Springboks was playing in the Rugby World Cup final. So with the wind motivating us from behind, we headed to the last two lakes, just before the border of Bolivia and Chile. Laguna Verde has a very distinctive green color, but the wind made it impossible to stay outside more than a few minutes and it was also extremely cold. We ran into this crab-eating fox, also called the common fox. He was the only predator we saw on this whole route. Another indication of the harsh conditions that any animal face on the Altiplano of Bolivia. Look at that moon landscape. Surreal. Not even the Cunhas here. How far away from the border? 10 kilometers! Yeah. The last 10 kilometers of the Laguna route. Yes, if the Cunhas don't graze here, then there's really nothing. But it's spectacular. In the desert is amazing. Beautiful flamingos, a last goodbye from the Laguna Road. Ready to say goodbye to Bolivia? Exit for the car out of Bolivia. Next up, we have to do the immigration to get ourselves out. We're painting a bit, um, and then it is entry into Chile. A bit of a different arrangement here. Not a one-stop shop, but it seems like a, a three-stop shop. The five k's to go, then we're getting onto the boring tar road. I think. Yay! <laughs> I think it's a bit more. Tar, your tar issues. Drive tar now. Oh no! Yay! Boring. Hopefully not, but it might oh, be. Yes, it's 
Welcome to the Republic of Chile. After a very slow border entry into Chile, we rushed to find the wild camp. So was the Laguna route the toughest route in South America? The weather conditions made it very challenging. The wind made it impossible to be outside in the afternoons. The road conditions can destroy a vehicle's suspension. Would we do it again? The answer is yes, as it's one of the most unique, beautiful, out-of-the-world routes that you can visit. We would recommend it to anyone that can do it. Next up, our adventure through the Atacama in northern Chile, and we find a place where it's impossible to drown. But that's a story for another time, so please remember to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you won't miss out on future adventures. Thank you for our Patreons for making these videos possible.